So we left St. Augustine and headed out on a long, cold, all-day motor down toward Daytona Beach on the intercoastal waterway, into strong wind and strong current once again. This is our tropical where we're motoring into like a 20 knot wind this whole freaking way. And it was so cold this morning that I brought up changing into jeans, socks, all this, two layers, freaking hat, and I still felt hypothermic. Even the Bloody Mary didn't help. Oh, yeah, that one too. And no matter what we do, no matter how we try to time it, we're always fighting it not to have current. I was reading where uh, the wind from a certain direction and, and velocity can really affect how the uh, tide acts and current. That has to be what's going on because our tide should have changed an hour and a half ago and we should be riding with it by now. And we're still fighting it. So I Today was just a long day of motoring uh, from St. Augustine in again crazy wind. This morning the wind was so cold you didn't get a lot of video today because I was in a really bad mood because I got frozen. <laughs> I was shivering and couldn't get my hands to warm up because I refused to put on long clothes until the last second. Other than that, it was just a good day. We uh, the motor worked pretty well. We stopped at one point to uh, clean out the raw water filter because we kind of forgot to check it before we left, and it, it was wanting to overheat at about under 2,500, which obviously is not what we were going for when we went through all that effort. Uh, but as soon as we cleaned it out, it wasn't even very dirty. It I don't think it overheated, but once maybe, right? Just once. <laughs> <laughs> and we made good time, even though we are terrible at figuring out how to time these tides. I think the wind uh, is part of the problem because it's changing the patterns a little bit. It's the only thing I can figure because we we're looking up the tides to try and get on the right side of them, you know, fight it for, we thought an hour or two and then be riding it for the rest of the day and <clears throat> just can't make it happen but we had good motor power today so it wasn't too big a deal so anyway we made it to Daytona and we are anchored here uh, just under the twin bridges I can't remember what they're called at the moment and uh, very nice little anchorage here the winds kind of laid down a little bit and it's very pleasant I was kind of crabby earlier. Yeah, I'm in a much better mood now. The whiskey helps. We got uh, Layla docked here at the uh, Loggerhead Marina. We were right over there. Hanging with those boats last night.
kicking around the pool at Loggerhead Marina for a couple of days and also exploring the strip at Daytona Beach, we decided to hop down to the last marina on our stay before heading back out into the Atlantic. That's a pelican call, right? I don't know. See? Told you. Mm-hmm. So we just pulled into Adventure Yacht Harbor. Adventureland. And then they have this thing called a gator trout, and it's just like the gator skull in like one hand that they turned into like a flipper, and then like the fish body of a fish. Totally it me, legit. It took me a minute to be like, is there really, is there really such a thing? There can't be such a thing. But it's with all these other like legit fish. Hunter Legend 35.5 there, but minus a nasty boob. Layla's sister. Could be a sister, doesn't have a mast. Yeah. Daytona. We uh, are docked at Adventure Yacht Harbor and we found a lovely beach. An awesome tidal pool, which this guy likes a lot. <laughs> Adventure Yacht Harbor is just straight that way, about three blocks. Fish. Angela is through the water, searching for a mate. He sees her. Just a note, we don't typically wear snorkel masks at the beach. But we just bought these. So I kind of want to see Woo! how they work. Life is awesome. Life is fantastic. 
We're sitting here in a beautiful marina. This is our life right now. It's fantastic. It's good. This is a cool little place. Mm -hmm. This is Adventure Yacht Harbor. Is that, mm -hmm. is that how they call it? And their rates are incredibly reasonable. It's not in the hotel district of Daytona. We're, I think we're technically in New Smyrna. Right here. I'm not positive about that. But. So our plan now is <clears throat> tomorrow. Tomorrow morning we're gonna get rolling a little bit before high tide, just mm -hmm. shortly. Can't go too far before high tide or we won't get out of here. Um, and pretty much head out of the Ponce Inlet, which is roughly that way. And uh, so, yeah, we're taking off uh, in the morning first thing. We should be back to Charleston by about 48 hours. And we've got south and southwest and west winds uh, for the next few days. And we'll probably catch the edge of the Gulf Stream. So we should be able to do that pretty, pretty well. You know, weird things happen, but I think we're going to have a nice ride back. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on social media. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Cheers! Cheers.